What is up, beautiful people? Internet, I go by the name of Wesley, and today we are reacting to School by Haminations. I don't know what to expect. I attended school, but now I am old, and it's been a long time since I attended school, so take me back, Ham. Take me back. Subscribe down below for more reactions. Let's hit it. I, all I know is if I was at school, we would play kickball with that because we were jerks. All right. School. school. I've had all kinds of experiences with it. Sometimes you get a great teacher who can make you excited about learning and can clearly explain the content to you. I had this one science teacher who let me hold her snake on the first day of school, and the girls who were sitting next to me were all freaking out. Oh my gosh, keep that snake away from me! What are you talking about? It's not hurting anybody. It's okay. That teacher was so good. Technically, technically, you don't... When you're carotid gets cut off yeah it doesn't hurt you just die snake's not hurting anyone it's just killing somebody bro like do you even she was strict on and it. nice stupid also, girl she played the banjo at a professional level but we aren't always so lucky to have teachers like that his a turn to do a b sometimes teachers are pretty bad the worst teacher i ever had was my ninth grade science teacher name we'll her call him mr name stupid him idiot Literally, the only thing that ever happened in class was he would throw a packet at us, tell us the answers without explaining why the answers were the way they were, and then he would throw a quiz at us while he sat at his desk doing nothing. It was literally regurgitating information, followed by forgetting it all since it was so unexplained. One time, I was in class and- That's awful. Hold up. That's terrible. I- Sometimes I get really sad because I feel like there's a lot of teachers who want to try really hard and they do for a couple years and then they somehow, for whatever reason, get incredibly depressed or they feel like they're not really meaningfully impacting kids the way they maybe thought they wanted to. And then they kind of go downhill, less and less effort, yada, yada, yada. Which is really sad, especially because like if, if anybody else, not anybody, but like if you're a business, you're a typical nine to five office worker, right? Like... If you get and you put in minimum effort and you don't try just to cash in and get your paycheck, everybody gets that, right? Like, oh, okay, cool. You're doing accounting. You know, you're only going to put in as much effort to get your paycheck and not get fired. Everyone gets that. But with teaching, it just sucks because you have so many, you know, impactable, <laughs> impactable. That's a terrible word. My English teachers failed me. Come on. And um, mutable minds that are there. And if you don't do a good job, you're d doing a disservice to the whole, like, to to kids and youth. And it just really sucks because it's, like, it's the worst position to be in. It's the worst position to be in when you're going to burn out, you know? It just sucks because, like, then again, maybe I'm giving the guy too much credit. And he could have just been a dick. And he's just like, I'll become a teacher. They've got a good union. And then I will suck. <laughs> and literally everybody was on Can't the Can't get fired! Since the teacher couldn't teach worth crap, as we all know. Oh, was math as well? I was not learning anything. I pulled out my phone and texted my mom. No. Oh, science? And then, Bryson, give me your phone. I looked up at Mr. Stupid Idiot. You're kidding me, right? You do see how literally everyone else in here is on their phone, and you single me out? He just said, give me your phone again. You do have the best I hair, bro. I was so mad. Literally everyone else there was on their phone, but I guess since I'm a tiny little blonde kid, it made me an easy target because he was probably intimidated by the other kids. And I understand that- I, I like he, I like that he's like the tiny little blonde kid because he's like, yeah, you know, um, being blonde associated with uh, being a target. <laughs> it's like, yeah, being tiny, I get the tiny kid, but the blonde kid, the, the, do the blonde kids usually get picked on more than other kids? I, I don't know. But you do have the best hair. Bryson, your hair's phenomenal. I shouldn't have been on my phone in class. It's everything I aspire I mine to be. I for two seconds to text my mom. And the second my phone came out, he singled me out. Even though everybody else was on their phone the he entire time. He could tell time. you were chatting-ish, bro. In fact, my friend Dallin worked as a janitor after school there. And he was cleaning by the main office when he overheard a counselor yelling at that teacher. Why do I have so many people complaining to me about how they aren't learning anything in your class? Mr. Stupid Idiot said, I don't know why. I give them comprehensive study guides before tests. I have interactive class lectures with class participation. And I always ask, does anyone have any questions? 
Does anyone have any questions? Okay, cool. <laughs> That was always the thing. It would be like, if you did have a question, did you guys ever feel this way? I never wanted to ask. I would always like look around. I'd be like, okay, does anybody else have any questions? Or am I just stupid? And then the teacher, if they didn't give me more than like a minute or two to try to figure that out, I would look around the room, see if anybody else looked a little confused. And that would give me the courage to ask. But if they only gave me like 10 seconds, I was like, no way in hell am I gonna ask and look like an idiot when the rest of these super geniuses got it on the first ride. Which are all things that he did not do. This not only proves that he was a liar, but it also proves that he knew how to actually teach, but was choosing not to. Imagine, imagine the teacher just didn't realize that he wasn't doing a good job. Imagine he wasn't lying. He was like, that's so sad. He was just like, imagine he was like the most devoted, try hard teacher ever, but he was just categorically abysmal at it but he didn't understand that and he's like why can't i reach these kids i try so hard every day i give them i literally give these kids the answers he just doesn't understand how teaching works at all that would be <laughs> awful why does this happen to me at the same school in eighth that grade i took scary. a ceramics class ceramics is working with clay and stuff and that teacher was so nice We'll call her Miss Ceramics Teacher. How do you she would become a ceramics teacher and not be nice? Like, I, I want to meet the mean ceramics teacher. And I want to know, like, what happened in your life? I feel like ceramics in general attracts really positive people for some reason. We have lessons on how to work with clay and prevent it from cracking or how to combine two pieces of clay together without it falling apart. It was so interesting and fun, and I learned so much. Whoa! So in ninth grade, I decided to take her class again. However, the class was only one semester, and I had her class in second semester. So, I grinded through a semester of school until finally I could make cool stuff out of clay again. I had been hearing from my friend who had her in first semester talk about all the great projects they got to do, so I was so excited to get to work with clay again. I walked into class, sat down, and waited with anticipation. Then, a substitute I had never seen before came walking in and started oh. to roll. I raised my hand. Um, where's Mrs. Ceramics teacher? Oh yeah, she had a stroke. What? The week before I got into ceramics, the teacher had had a stroke and wouldn't... Bryson, why are you like, the week before I got into ceramics, me? I'm the real victim here. It was a freaking week before I got into ceramics. It's like, does it matter? The teacher had a stroke, dude! Be back for the rest of the semester. End my suffering. Also, don't worry. She is fine. She just couldn't teach that semester. I'm glad she's okay. So basically, that class was just substitute after sub- Bryson! Have some empathy for the poor woman! She had a freaking stroke! And you're just like, it was really rough, man. I didn't get to do quite as much uh, progress. I didn't make quite as much progress on my ceramics as I was really hoping for. Um, because this freaking woman got a stroke. She had the audacity. The audacity to have an, a stroke. Substitute, and they all knew nothing about Clay and couldn't teach at all. But they saved the worst one for last. His name was Mr. Salazar. Just like Salazar Dropped Slytherin his real name, from the Harry he's down to a D. Look it up if you don't know what I'm D talking. for empathy, bro. Yeah, That's why. D for empathy. He always had this blank expression on his face. No emotion. And one day he came into class with a laptop, looked at Mrs. Ceramics teacher's heavily decorated desk, and thought, Oh, I'll just shove my laptop on here to make room. So like an idiot, he just shoved his laptop into all her ceramics pieces. Mrs. Ceramics teacher's favorite vase teetered and then shattered Aww. into a million pieces. Dude, that was her favorite vase! I love that. Bryson, you're showing more empathy for her favorite vase shattering than you did for her favorite brain shattering when she had a freaking stroke, dude! I feel like the priorities here are a little bit... Twisted. She worked so hard on that. What were you thinking? Nothing. Dude. And then he just started teaching a lesson house and didn't even acknowledge mean. what he had just destroyed. That's what really the weird. heck even are you? So that class basically sucked. But I can't blame all of my classroom shenanigans on the teacher. Side note, guys. I got... I was a pretty good student, surprisingly. I'm sure a lot of you are like... No, you weren't, you crackhead. Like, you've mixed spoken 17 times this video, which is accurate. But, regardless, 
I did pretty well in middle school. I had a great run there going. A's, mostly. Sprinkled in with a, a few B's to, you know, mix it up a little bit. One C in middle school throughout my entire career in those three years. Guess what class it was? Oh, wait. Guess. Guess. Math? Pretty hard subject. No. Science? Pretty hard subject. No. Home ec. And you know what's really sad is like you would think, oh, okay, cool. Like that's an elective. You probably just screwed around. No, I really tried. I tried really hard. Two sections in home ec, cooking, sewing, cooking, got an A, blew through it. A, A, sewing, F, F. So bad, me, so bad, did such a bad job. My teacher didn't believe me that I tried. I did such a bad job. I was supposed to make a pillowcase. My pillowcase would hold no stuffing. It was looked like a dog had been given a pillowcase and had like ripped it apart like some giant German shepherd. She failed me. A literal F for that semester. I tried so hard. I tried so hard. And I'm so bitter about it, if you guys couldn't tell. That being said, suck at sewing. Never ask me. I will not sew for you, and you should date me for that. This next one was on me. Just recently in my AP US history class, I Ooh. was laying on my desk like this while taking notes on the lecture the teacher was giving. But I started to fall asleep. I would blink and it was like two minutes later. Okay class, now when Christopher Columbus discovered America, the Declaration of Independence declared that the Civil War had begun and Hitler promised not to invade any more territories, but he lied and Martin Luther King Jr. was super <laughs> rap and Donald Trump was elected president. Whoa. And that's what you need to know for the test. Bryson, can you please summarize the lecture we just had? She knew what uh, she was doing. Can you repeat the question? She knew what she was doing. Can you repeat now, the lecture? my handwriting is already barely legible. Oh, we're down to But I looked at the notes I took while falling asleep, and it was literally chicken scratch. Here, Going look. off the paper. This part doesn't even follow the lines. As my handwriting's pretty bad like that, you can like see, my too. superpower of falling asleep really fast is both a blessing <laughs> and a curse. I, um, so I got, in freshman year of college, I got mono really bad right before finals, and I fell asleep during one of my si my finals. Like, I fell asleep in my final. I was taking the test, and I fell asleep. And I, I like, only reason I woke up is because I was in a dream, and I said, like, smelly feet, and I yelled it in front of the whole class, and I was sitting right in front of the teacher, and he knew I had mono. I, he knew that I had had mono, so I think he was, like, not being weird about it, letting me sleep. But I like yelled that in front of the whole class. It was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. And I think I, I don't think I passed the final. I think the teacher, cause I tried really hard the rest of the semester. I think he passed me because he knew I had mono and for no other reason. So guys, if you're out there and you're really just like failing, just make your teacher think you're trying and then contract a serious case of mono. Just get like everybody to spit in a cup in your dorm, you'll get mono. I can almost guarantee it. So, yeah. And then fall asleep in your final and yell something embarrassing. Hey there. Easy it's a. been a while. Sorry this took a long time to make, but believe it or not, I do actually have other things to do. Like school. Uh, to remind you mostly. all of next year. Dude, Bryson has gray hair, I have to say. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 on the hair, boy. That being said, guys. Yeah. Yeah. School's rough. School's really weird. I I don't really even know what to think about it. It's really, it definitely depends so heavily on, on how good your teachers are, which is kind of sad in a way. It's great when you have a, a phenomenal teacher, but it, I wonder sometimes how many kids would truly love a subject if they had been exposed to a different teacher the first time they took a subject. Like how many kids would actually really love math or really love science or really love history if they had a teacher who was very passionate about it and passionate about communicating it effectively to the age group that the kids are, right? Because you could have a college professor who's amazing at teaching college kids, but you take that same college professor and have them try to teach five-year-olds and there's no way he's gonna convey the passion and the ideas to that group normally, right? So I don't know, it's just interesting. Um, that being said, guys, I hope you had a wonderful school experience and all of the subjects were taught just beautifully and passionately and efficiently to you. I hope you also have a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I'm Wesley, make sure you subscribe down below for more reactions and take care of yourself, I'm out.